Okay, baby. I am just about as big a Metal Gear Solid fan as has ever been. I love Metal Gear Solid. It is absolutely my favorite video game series. And within that series, there are two or three of my favorite games of all time. It's been great. So good. My first experience playing a Metal Gear Solid game was uh, in fourth grade. Metal Gear Solid had just come out. It was like 98 or 99. And uh, this demo disc. Back in the PlayStation 1 days, it was all about the demo disc. If you didn't have the demo disc, sorry about you, man. Sorry. Anyway, I got my hands on a demo disc, and that demo disc had in Metal Gear Solid 1 on it. And it pretty much took you all the way through the part where you sneak in and you meet up with the DARPA chief, and he dies. Spoiler alert. Sorry. I was hooked, and it wasn't even just the stuff you were doing in the game. The sneaking around and trying not to get seen by surveillance cameras and freaking uh, the, the, the guards and stuff. It was all about the aesthetic of that game. The aesthetic of Metal Gear Solid 1 was everything. I was the target demographic for Metal Gear Solid 1, man. I was a young, hungry boy, and I just wanted to see some military ah. shit. It didn't even need to make sense. It just needed to be in front of my face and ready for me to consume. And Metal Gear Solid answered the call, baby. On a serious note, um, that was also unwittingly at the time my first exposure to a fully voice acted video game that I was going to play all the way through. Anyway, there had been fully voice acted video games up to that point, but this was really the first time that I spent time getting to know the characters and hearing their voice and hearing them emote in a way that I had never experienced in a video game. I had never experienced at all in my life. Later on, I realized that that game made me want to, to do voices and hopefully one day become a voice actor. I was inspired by Metal Gear Solid. I mean, you know, obviously David Hayter as Solid Snake, he's amazing. You know, there is no other snake to me than David Hayter. He's amazing. Um, but there's so many other just really nuanced and really special performances in that game. Patrick Zimmerman, who plays Revolver Ocelot and played him throughout the rest of the series, with the exception of Metal Gear Solid 3, where he's obviously voiced by uh, the much younger Josh Keaton. Patrick Zimmerman is a fantastic bad guy, and I think he probably could have played Ocelot in kind of a like snively whiplash, kind of like <laughs> kind of uh, kind of way. But uh, he ended up playing him in a way that's really I don't know. He touched on something special with that, and then of course you know Cam Clark, you know Liquid Snake, nothing but good things to say there. Debbie May West as Meryl. A great performance you know so from a voice acting perspective Metal Gear Solid 1 really is it's just one of those games that's that's special to me I don't know from the aesthetic there's something about the way the military and military equipment and military vehicles and uniforms and weapons were represented in the 1990s I don't think some people realize this is like pre Call of Duty pre tactical freaking four-eyed night vision goggle type of shit. you know this is before all that man this is this is like the 80s were still kind of there we had rambo and commando were still kind of echoing in people's minds the movies of that time were like the rock and you know die hard all these really good action movies that didn't have a lot of this kind of like uber tactical military shit. I don't know, the, the look, the feel was just different back then, and you kind of had to be there, but it is what it is. Anyway, yeah, Metal Gear Solid changed my f***ing life, and uh, I'm not really much of a vlogger, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't think anyone cares to hear about what I had for breakfast or, you know, that type of stuff, but I could fill, I could fill a day. I could fill a day talking about my favorite video game which is Metal Gear Solid and the Metal Gear Solid series. So, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do a podcast. 
podcasting, it's a lot of work, boys and girls. Bet you didn't know that. It takes a lot of work to do a podcast. But by cracky, I don't mind sitting here for a few minutes every few days and just telling y'all some stories about why I love the things I love. I can definitely do that. And we're going to start with one of my favorite things. Metal Gear Solid. So buckle the f-